The Curious Case, Bray Wyatt. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, and I kind of wanted to see how things played out for the last couple of weeks, ever since him and a certain other superstar have been feuding, so to speak. But now we've got an official match on the books, and I think it's time that we dive into everything involving these two very charismatic people in WWE. And that is, of course, Bray Wyatt and this Uncle Howdy character. No, 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 no. Who we're really gonna talk about is LA Knight. Yeah. 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 Let me talk to you. LA Knight, in my opinion, is one of those characters that kind of draws you in just because of his charismatic persona. The fact that he's a wordsmith, that's one of the appealing things that I like about him. Well, I've never actually seen the guy wrestle. He's got a way with words. And it appeals to me that putting him with somebody like Bray Wyatt, who also has a very good way of words, this was a match made in heaven. Now, what you've seen so far in all of these weeks is these two going back and forth, back and forth. Bray Wyatt's got a problem with LA Knight just because of who he is. LA Knight's like, I don't understand why you got a problem with me. Leave me alone. He wasn't. He kept saying it wasn't me, it wasn't me. You don't know, I know! I know who it was! I know it was you, I can hear you, I can feel you! And now enters this other persona that we have come to see over these last couple of weeks in Uncle Howdy, this new character that Bray Wyatt has created. Looking back at all of the characters that Bray Wyatt has created, over his career, going back to when he first started it with the Wyatt family. Bray's got a lot of ingenious ideas, but they never get fleshed out. They never get a fitting end. You talk about the Wyatt family, they were beat half the death on every main stage. When you talk about The Fiend, look at how that whole thing ended. Now you've got an opportunity with a new type of character and there's so much speculation about the Wyatt Six and turning all of these superstars into his, you know, his, his this like new stable, right? Where instead of it's not three members or four members, it's now like this six group and they maybe start running roughshod over the WWE. Maybe that's sort of the long con with all of this. Is it gonna work out? I guess that's my biggest question because again, as time has shown, Bray Wyatt gets all these opportunities, but then they they fizzle out, right? Randy Orton burns down his house. You know, he doesn't win a meaningful match. I think the only meaningful match that the character has ever won was against John Cena in the, the Funhouse match, right? The pre-taped match, but it wasn't an actual wrestling match. But Bray ends up winning. But then again, John Cena is a part-time guy anyway. It's not like he's a title holder. Sure, Bray Wyatt's been a world champion, but again, he loses it again at WrestleMania. So like, where's this all going? Is this gonna help him? Is it gonna elevate him? Is it going to give him that much needed win? The problem I see though with LA Knight is that this is a guy who really could use a win, but what happens when he does lose? Does he get conformed to the Wyatt Six or this new Wyatt family? And where is this Uncle Howdy character? A lot of people are speculating that it could be Bo Dallas, Bray Wyatt's in real life brother. Some people are saying it's a couple of indie wrestlers. I saw somebody who is an Impact Wrestling who kind of looks like him from this very detailed picture. One thing's for sure within this pitch black match, there's of course the element of Uncle Howdy. Who is he? What's he doing here? Why is he wrestling? Who knows? Is he gonna interfere in the match? I don't know. I ultimately think that the mystery of Uncle Howdy should continue for a while and maybe even be a build up to WrestleMania, especially if he's gonna be a major character and especially if it's somebody like Bo Dallas. When you go to the Royal Rumble, LA Knight and Bray Wyatt are gonna have themselves a very interesting match. It's apparently sponsored a pitch black match because remember with The Fiend, it was all that weird red lighting. And you could barely see anything throughout the whole match. Whatever this Pitch Black Mountain Dew sponsored match that's supposedly gonna blow the roof off. I just hope LA doesn't get completely stomped and buried and that he comes out of this somewhat a little bit unscathed in terms of his booking and his momentum. I hope they use LA Knight more and it would be very interesting if you had LA Knight be part of this Wyatt Six group. I don't know, what do you guys think? Yeah!